Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com and I want to quickly show you how to set up, configure, and log in to the Apache Tomcat URL. Now, as you can see, I've got Apache Tomcat 10 installed on my local Ubuntu machine. If you go to localhost 8080, you should see a link for the manager app. But if I click on this, you notice I get challenged for a username and password, and I don't have one set up. So when I try and sign in, well, I get a 401, you might get a 403, but I certainly get an error and I can't log in to the Apache Tomcat Manager. Notice the URL is right up there. Well, things are easily fixed. You can see that on this page, it does tell you, hey, you gotta go into Tomcat Users XML and do a little bit of configuration and I'm not too big of a man to do what I'm told. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to nano into that Tomcat Users file. Now, I do have my Tomcat installation folder right here and I can go into well, it's not OPT, yeah, you know me, it's actually, oh, maybe it is OPT. There's OPT, Tomcat, under Tomcat, I've got this conf folder where all my Tomcat configuration is, and you can see there's that Tomcat users file that we need to edit. Now, I'm gonna do it with sudo, and I'm gonna do it with nano as well, and simply say, let's go get opt Tomcat com Tomcat users, XML. Now, you may install Tomcat in a different location, so you got to find your Tomcat install location. But if you do and you find that users.xml file, well, boom, open it up and you've got a couple of things to add. Now, specifically, what you need to add is you need to add a new user into the Tomcat manager role. And you know you might wanna add one to the admin role as well. Now I am gonna scroll down right to the bottom of this file. There is some guidance on how to set up the users, but I've got this all pre-configured in a standard way. I'm gonna cheat and just paste some content in. And you can see that I create a new role called the manager GUI. I create a new role named the admin GUI. And then I add a new user to that manager role. And then I've also got a couple of users added to that admin role as well. So we've got the manager GUI and the admin GUI as roles that are consistent with admin. So that's the first step. Add these two roles, admin GUI and manager GUI, and add a couple of users, manager and admin. Now, you might want to also go in and change the passwords. So I'm just going to make life real easy. I'm just going to make these password and password. Now, these are not users that exist in your local user registry or active directory. These are just users that Tomcat knows about. Okay, with that done, I am going to do the control O to save my changes. I'm gonna do the control X to get out of there. And now there's one other thing that I'm going to configure here. You'll notice that under OPT, Tomcat, what is it, web apps, I believe we've gotta dig into. That's where all the web apps are. Once we get into web apps, you'll actually see the host manager. There's the host manager right there. There's the meta INF and there's the context file. We've actually got to edit that just a little bit. And so I'm going to do a little sudo nano opt tomcat web apps. Hopefully I type all of this in correctly. Host manager meta INF and context dot xml now let me take a look at that opt tomcat web apps host manager meta inf context is that right context yeah that looks like i thought it should be content no context dot xml that looks good and now you'll notice that there's a little valve in here and unfortunately this will block all requests on anything but 127.0.0.1 so We simply comment out that line. That looks good like that. And now we should be able to access the Tomcat manager from everywhere. So I'll do a little control O, 
control X. And in theory, everything should be working correctly. Now, I do need to restart the application and there's a little start up and shut down shell files inside that bin directory. So I better call those sudo opt tomcat bin shutdown dot shell. And then to start it up, it's just start up dot shell. So now we've rebooted Tomcat and now the Tomcat has been rebooted and we should be able to access the manager GUI. So let's go over to Tomcat once again, do a refresh, bring the page up. And now when we try and access the manager app or for that matter, even the host manager, I should be able to type in admin and password and sign in. I'll save that username and password, but you can see that I have now configured and set up the Tomcat manager application. I can now access the Tomcat manager application and I can even log into the Tomcat manager application on that Tomcat manager URL, localhost 8080 slash manager slash HTML. And feel free to go in here and dig around and take a look at all of the interesting settings that are available here in the Tomcat Manager app. But once you've got this configured and set up and installed, well, the world is your oyster. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Tomcat, Apache, Java, DevOps, Git, GitHub, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And why not subscribe on the YouTube?